Actually, I need a couple of I need a couple of definitions before I draw this figure. Um, so the protocol now is called cellular IP. And the idea is we group cells. That's right. Basically, we're grouping we're grouping base stations. So now, not every base station is an independent foreign agent. We group base stations. These would be generally adjacent base stations, so they're in close physical proximity. They're all owned by the same company, um, so uh, they can they can very efficiently talk to each other. Uh, so we group the base stations into clusters, <coughs> and we assign a common foreign agent. Common foreign agent has a special name, and that is called the cellular IP gateway. And I'm going to abbreviate that to CIP GW. So that'll mean. Um, as long as I stay within that cluster, um, as long as I stay within that cluster, I don't need, I don't need, uh, I, I, as far as mobile IP is concerned, I don't have a handoff. I, I keep the same foreign agent. The only trick is that uh, as I move from cell to cell, I have to be able to reroute packets uh, within within that cell. So therefore, downstream. Cellular IP gateway uh, routers redirect traffic in case of mobility among cells. So if I go from one cell to another within that same cluster. Um, that's that's a very local that's a very local activity. So I mean, uh, the cells within this cluster, the cell towers will be within a kilometer of each other. Or so uh, as I go from one to the other, uh, the cluster, uh, the cellular IP gateway will keep track of that fact, and any packets forwarded initially to the first. Uh, to the first base station. There won't be very many of them because they're all close together. They'll simply be forwarded to the other one. Question over here. So the packets are still going directly to one of the base stations. That's right. So the gateway doesn't get any of them to start with. No, no the, ga the gateway is actually on the path. So uh, let me draw the. Draw the oh, sure. <laughs> so this will be figure two. So here's the internet. Connected to the internet, we have the cellular IP gateway. And this acts as the foreign agent for a foreign network, which is made up of a cluster of base stations. So attached to the cellular IP gateway, we have a series of routers. Actually, me, sorry, one router. And connected to that router are a bunch of base stations. So, say I show up um, in this cluster here. Here's my mobile node. I connect this base station. Um, my registration request is passed up the chain to here. The uh, cellular IP gateway acts as my foreign agent and registers me with the home agent. So all my packets are passed from the home agent to here and then to me. 
so the uh, and all that activity is taken care of by this router. So, so now there's only one foreign agent for that whole area. Correct. Those things aren't considered foreign agents anymore. No. Is there a performance uh, loss here because you're doing a little more routing? Probably. Uh, uh, probably uh, the better way to think of it is that there's a little more hardware expense. So um, you have now you need now you need a router to route traffic amongst these base stations. And um, but your mobility is improved. Your um, your late your latency, your latency on handover is, is significantly. So uh, what will happen is, okay, uh, packets go from the corresponding node to the home agent down into here. Then I move from base station 1 to base station 2. Um, all of a certain amount of control traffic will be passed to the router to ensure that uh, the router is aware that I've moved to the second base station, but now <coughs> any packets, and there will not be very many of them because these are all in close physical proximity, any packets that ended up at base station one that can't be forwarded to me are now forwarded back through the router and down to the mobile node. 